Hey guys, this is Matt Star, and I am going to show you how to do a solo lobby. This one is different. You don't have to do any kind of um, uh, missions, and this also works with um, fast. What is it? The um, fast track, fast travel. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go into your network internet. All right, you're going to go to. Let's see here, Windows Defender Firewall. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into Advanced Setting and then the Outbound Rules. You're gonna create a new rule. And we'll see the one that I created already. And you're going to put in these port numbers. These are the port numbers that we're going to block. Um, there is no need to uh, do any missions. So you can just block these right away. So here are the port numbers that we're going to be putting in. And I have these on the one that I already created. I'm just going to copy and paste just to show you. There they are. Let's copy and paste that. Okay, so that's 6672, 6145, 6147. 61456 and 61458. Those are the ports that we're going to block in your Windows Defender. Now make sure that that says block the connection. Click next. Uh, that's okay to have all those checked. And then you're going to go ahead and name it. And I just named it uh, RDR, oops, R2. Online block, whatever. Click finish. Okay. Uh, when you click OK, it's going to automatically enable it, but we're going to disable the rule. Also, I'm probably going to delete this since I already had one created just to show you. So we're deleting that. And then the next thing you're going to want to do, let's minimize that. I got my sound thing. Here it is. Okay, so you're going to go into your router um, homepage and you can access that by, by going to your um, 192. I'm not sure what IP address you guys have, but mine is 192.168.0.1. Go under the firewall tab and under client IP filters, you're going to put in the IP address of the system or the, your machine that you're playing your game on. And the way that you can find the IP address is you go into CMD, the command prompt, type in IP config, and under the IPv4 address, that is your IP address number. Mine is 192.168.0.2. Yours is going to be different, but you're going to put in that IP address and add that here under the client IP address and you're going to put it again if yours has this because we're only blocking or we're only uh, going to be adding that IP address number and here you're going to put the beginning port so the beginning port would be and I don't remember it by heart but I think it's 6672 All right let's see yeah, 6672. You're going to copy and paste that. There you go. And then you're going to put the last uh, port number. And that is 61458. All right. There you go. Paste that. And then you're going to change the type TCP to UDP. And everything else you're going to keep just as is. And then do not click add client IP filter yet. Okay. And we're not going to enable the defender, the windows defender blocking ports either. We're going to first go into the game, launch red dead online two. This is very important. Do not turn those on yet. Uh, we're going to turn those on when we go into the, um, change appearance. Okay. So we're going to just launch that. Uh, it's going to take a while. I will pause the video until we completely launch. Okay, now we're going to go into the elimination series. And the reason we do this is because 
The change of parents will just go into this continuous loop. So this is always what you're going to do uh, when you want to go into the change of parents somehow, some way. Elimination series um, eliminates <laughs> eliminates the loop for the change of parents. So once we get into the elimination series, we're going to check out of there and go back into the free roam. And I'm sure you've seen this in dozens of videos, but this works. So this is the steps. All right. So we're going to pause the video again until we get in. All right. We are loading into the elimination series. We're going to quit to free roam. And we're going to say yes. And now we're going to go into the free roam and here if everything goes well. All right. We now load it into the free roam and now we're going to uh, click L and I'm on PC. We're going to check all the players. You see everybody and their mothers is there. We're going to go down to the online options. We're going to go into change appearance, click proceed. All right. We are now in the change appearance menu. So you're going to wait maybe about 20 seconds or so. And meanwhile, we are going to, um, enable the windows defender. And in this, um, step we're going to enable that first and then enable the router uh, block ports all right so there we have our rule we're going to go ahead and enable it i think enough time has passed let's enable the rule now all right now we're going to add the client ip filter Yours may say something different, but we're going to go ahead and initiate that. And then we're going to wait until uh, the router, uh, it shows up in the router. Mine takes a while, so. Okay, so it added it into the router. All right, and now we're going to go back into the Red Dead and escape to go back into Free Roam. All right, now we're back in free roam and that's pretty much it. Um, one more thing we have to do. There we are. We're all by ourselves in our solo lobby. Go down to online options and turn off the social mapping, uh, matching. <laughs> and now it should be okay. So guys, um, Pretty much, that's basically it. You can fast travel. You don't have to do any specific missions. You don't have to race all the way to uh, Margaritaville, whatever town that was. Or ha even having to accept a bounty mission or doing your posse stand down over and over and over. <laughs> so you don't have to do any nonsense like that. You just enable your router. You enable the Windows Defender. And you are going to be in a solo lobby for as long as you want. Um, you can fast travel. You... So trust me, this works. I tried it over and over. Um, just using Windows Defender, that didn't work. Um, using just the router uh, port blocks, that didn't work either. They both have to be enabled at the same time during the change of parents. Or it won't work. Um, and also you have to turn off the social online uh, matching so that you don't get put in another lobby. But that's all you really need. You don't need a race to a town. You don't need to do go to the bounty. You don't need to, you know, stand down your posse. You don't need to do any of that. Just block the ports and you're going to be in your solo mission and you're not going to have any griefers. You're not going to have anybody ruining your your deliveries or anything like that. Um, 
And I believe you can also um, invite your friends. So um, this is great. This is really great. And if uh, Rockstar doesn't fix this, and if they have no intentions of putting in a solo lobby, well, then here you go. This is the easiest way to do it. The fastest, the best. I tried everybody's videos. <laughs> I was so desperate. I was getting griefed every single day. And uh, I just couldn't stand it anymore. Anyways, I went on to Reddit and uh, I found out some fantastic information about uh blocking the ports and that's really all you need is just block those ports and uh, yeah uh, that's pretty much it all right guys well I hope you enjoyed the video I hope this helped you I hope you're going to enjoy your solo uh, lobby and if you really like this video please don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos um, if you can anyways thanks for sticking around guys talk to you soon